Hello people, <clears throat> in this video we want to look at this topic traction. What is traction? That is like a pull, right? It's a pull, that's it. For example, look at this. So, you, uh, this leg is being pulled, right, by these weights and these pulleys. So, that is the traction, okay? And uh, if you are uh, providing any pull from the opposite side, that becomes a counter traction. Like if you elevate this bed, right, that will become a counter traction because it will be, uh, the gravity will be pulling back on this side. So, this is counter traction and that is traction. So, did you understand? So now, in um, uh, after uh, reduction of a fracture and all, they are talking to you about traction, right? So, <clears throat> you have so many types of traction. Look at this. So, what is the objective of traction? First of all, it is used for reduction of fracture and dislocation and their maintenance. You have reduced the fracture, you want to maintain it kind of a thing. And um, uh, for immobilizing a painful inflamed joint, so basically you are immobilizing also, right? So, you are re maintaining the reduction. You are immobilizing the joint and for prevention of deformity. So, you, you can also prevent deformity, <coughs> right, by pulling it the right amount. <coughs> then, you will correct the soft tissue contractures by stretching them out. Now, look at the types of traction. You have fixed traction and sliding traction. Fixed traction is where, uh, you know, like the thomas splint, you have the ring. Now, uh, the thomas splint, you have a ring, right? There is a ring like this in which they have put the leg, right? So, this splint will provide the traction. This is Sorry, this is the counter traction and this is the fixed traction, okay? So, uh, your pulley and the weights are pulling it like this, right? And your uh, ring and everything else is pulling it like this. So, this is traction, counter traction, which is fixed. This uh, fixed traction is there in Thomas splint, okay? In Thomas splint, there is fixed traction saying the ring of the splint comes to lie against the ischial tuberosity and provides counter traction. They have shown Thomas splint here. You can see the ring here, ischial tuberosity that will provide counter traction. Okay, where are we? Now look at this uh, sliding traction. Sliding traction is where the weight of the body acts as counter traction. That is when you have just raised the um, foot end of the bed, like we told you, right? That will become a sliding traction. So, let us say, show that bowler brown one. Look at this. Bowler brown splint. So, if uh, there is no counter traction here, but if you elevate this uh, foot end of the bed, then the gravitational forces will be providing the counter traction. So, this is the sliding traction, okay? This is the sliding, see, a sliding, sliding traction, okay? So, in this type, the weight of the body acts as counter traction, okay. So, in pelvic fracture, they will give this. When the weight of the body acts as a counter traction made effective by elevating the foot end of the bed. There are also two types of uh, traction that you should know that you can apply. This is skin traction. So, the skin is uh, pulling, right. The skin is helping in pulling. So, you can see here, there is um, some arrow shown here, the pull, right. And they have bounded to the skin. And inside, in the below one here, it is inside. You can see here, there is a pin inside. And this is skeletal traction. So, here the bone, the skeletal system is being used. And here the skin is being used. That's it. Skin traction and skeletal traction. So, these are the methods of applying traction. Skin traction. Adhesive strap is applied on the skin and traction applied. Okay. Skeletal traction. So, there you are using some wires, K wires, Steinman wire, uh, pin, Steinman pin through the bone. Look at this, skin traction versus uh, skeletal traction. Skin traction will uh, provide only moderate, mild to moderate force. However, skeletal traction can provide moderate to severe force. This I think you already guessed. Uh, skin traction you can, you, uh, you can use in children. Uh, skeletal traction you can use in adults. I think you will have to put the pins and all. It will be quite difficult to put in a child, right? <coughs> And uh, skin traction applied with the adhesive plaster. Skeletal traction, you have to use K-wire and Steinman pin. It is applied on the skin and this is applied through the bone. Common site is below the knee. That's what we showed you in skin traction. And the uh, skeletal traction is upper tibial pin traction, which you saw just now. Then weight permitted is up to 3 to 4 kg and skeletal traction up to 20 kgs. Used for short duration, you can use skin for short duration and tra skeletal traction for long duration. Obviously, this looks a little more invasive, the skeletal one, right? So, you can use it 
uh, the purpose is to use it for a long duration that time only they will use the skeletal traction there are many named tractions guys if you want you can look at these what do you think we should remember some dunlop is there calcaneal that sounds like a bone metacarpal if may based on the bone name if they have kept it's easy to remember for us right some 90 90 traction is there halo pelvic traction is there how do you care for uh, a traction guys so basically it should be comfortable for the patient then it should function properly because uh, these uh, if it is uh, too bad then it it will only cause deformity right so that and all you should be very careful the weights should not touch the ground then you should see that um, uh, the pulleys are proper the ropes are proper etc and then the foot of the patient or the end of the traction device should not be touching the pulley then that time it will become ineffective so you should check whether the terminal part of the limb is warm if it is cold then what blood supply is not sufficient isn't it any numbness or tingling may uh, point to traction palsy of a nerve that sounds scary traction palsy of a nerve any swelling over the fingers or toes may indicate a tight bandage or a slipped skin traction so there should be no swelling and all you should be very careful if it is there is swelling and all <clears throat> it means there is no proper drainage happening from that area so that means you have put a very tight bandage or the skin traction has slipped the pin traction infected in skeletal traction so see this is very invasive we told you the skeletal traction is invasive so if there is a uh, the, the this pin and all gets infected then you should be very careful if there is pain on gentle tapping etc you should check okay for that then proper position of the fracture should be ensured by taking uh, x rays in traction okay so you will have to take x ray and keep checking whether it's proper or not physiotherapy uh, should be continued in traction is it in traction also physiotherapy is continued to mis minimize muscle wasting because this guy is kind of immobilized but they don't want the muscles to get wasted then you should always check for bed sores all the standard things you will write chest congestion urinary tract infection because this guy will be catheterized right then constipation etc because obviously if this person is immobilized then what will happen low metabolism diversion therapy is important you know that means uh, he has to be reading or playing some games watching television net surfing etc diversion therapy is important for people on traction that's it for now guys in this video we are closing this video on traction okay so remember what and all you learned in this traction you learned what are the objectives okay reduction maintenance right you want to reduce the fracture you want to maintain this reduction you want to immobilize the patient then you want to prevent deformity you don't want deformity right and then you want to correct the soft tissue contracture by stretching them out soft tissue contracture you want to stop by stretching it out the types of traction what did you read types of traction you read that um, there is a fixed traction like in thomas splint and then you have sliding like just elevation of the foot then uh, you have how to apply traction you can apply skin traction or skeletal traction you saw skeletal traction you have seen in um, that bowler brown uh, splint isn't it where they are putting it via the tibia the k wire or steam man pin right uh, then uh, skin traction you will use in children etc this will take little less weight and it is uh, for short duration you can use skin traction uh, what else did you see you saw some named uh, splint uh, so say named tractions like you saw some 1990 and then you saw the uh, carp metacarpal pelvic traction calcaneal etc how to care for traction basically you have to make sure that uh, it is comfortable the uh, it is not too much it is not itself going to cause deformity you should keep taking x ray to see how it is progressing there should be proper functioning the weights pulleys everything should be proper nothing should be touching each other then um, uh, the feet should feel uh, warm okay there should be no tingling and numbling sensation because that can uh, to show that there is palsy of a nerve then swelling should not be there right then uh, if you have put a skeletal traction that should not get infected so when you tap there should be no pain right uh, then uh, physiotherapy you have to teach this guy so that he will uh, minimize uh, he will not have muscle wasting then you should uh, check for bed sores on dependent parts so that he is not having bed sores 
problem with uh, uh, bed rest is uh, there can be uh, urinary tract infection because of catheter, chest congestion, constipation, etc. So these people know like this, how you're seeing this computer here like that, you should put a TV and make them watch the TV, right? Uh, so that they have diversional therapy, right? So that they can play, uh, they, can, they can keep their mind occupied. So games or uh, net surfing, reading, etc. Okay, so that's all about traction in this video. Bye-bye.